All right, been away for a while, but we're back with some Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It's your boy RPG, and um, today I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to show you my uh, current build, which I'm using to hunt all these big nasty monsters. Um, I feel it's pretty efficient. Um, gives out a lot of damage. Uh, I've done a lot of testing and everything like that in the training area. So, we're just going to go through my build and, you know, hopefully the tips and structure I give will be something to your interest in. Da -da -da. Something that you'll be interested in if you play dual blades or if you're looking forward to playing dual blades maybe this will help you out let's we'll start with the switch skills um my red scroll i have demon flurry rush uh feral demon mode which raises your attack considerably gives you I think plus 60 attack and I have these two in combination because Demon Flurry Rush is, it doesn't do a lot of damage, it's more so for like getting in, you know, if you're at a distance from the monster, you can use Flurry Rush to like zip right in or zip in and out while you're attacking. So, and also, Combo, it combos well with Feral Demon Mode because when you dodge in Feral Demon Mode, you get two attacks in. So even when you activate it, you get in attacks. So pretty, pretty good combination there. Um, round slash combo. That's more like after you do a uh, certain combo string. You can press left to right, round slash combo to extend it and then go to your next combo without, you know, just sitting there waiting for a combo to end. You can extend it. So, Piercing Bind works well with uh, Demon Flurry Rush, as I mentioned before. Uh, getting in, and I'll demonstrate what I mean. Um, in the training area um, why combo all these things together piercing bind um, it's more grounded base uh, you are uh, activated planted in a monster and demon flurry rush allows you to zip right in because for some reason when you use piercing bind it backs you up from the monster so you can't immediately just go into an attack you want right away so that's why piercing bond combo in this shot of old obviously that's our um our counter to um you know get out of trouble or to you know bypass monster screams whatever so it's a very good skill gives you eye frames you can activate it you know, don't even wire bug available, and um, yeah, it's it's, it's very good, very good. Um, get out of jail free card. So my blue scroll got demon flight. This is obviously aerial combat. Um, it's for the taller monsters since you know dual blades are really short. Uh, taller monsters would pose a problem. If you're on the ground, because uh, some of their uh, weak points are obviously out of reach. So, Demon Flight helps you get up there and get your damage in on tall monsters. Demon Mode, it activates, um, you get a boost to your elemental damage, uh, which they added to this uh, expansion. And it's, it's great. It's um, they made demon mode more useful. 
uh, really didn't have a use in um, pre sunbreak everyone just used feral demon mode because you know the massive attack boost so it kind of balanced out the modes so you get utility out of both of them um, side slash combo it's kind of a get out of jail free card too uh, you in the combo if you think you know you won't get out the way in time or you think a monster is about to do a certain attack you can use this to dodge like pretty pretty far away reposition yourself spiral slash you can use in the ground or in the air so combo's great with demon flight um, it's uh it's great because it takes less time to recharge than piercing by so if you do if you're using demon flight the in air bam wire bug comes back spiral slash downward you know damage free damage and I decided not to go with uh, I think it's called iron iron shine silk which um if you evade you sharpen your blades and um, being a dual blade user you will run out of sharpness very quickly because you're attacking so often and that's how it's supposed to be you're supposed to be attacking a lot like a lot if you're a dual blade user and um, Iron Shrine Silk was supposed to be a uh, switch skill that helps out with that uh, if you combo it with uh, evade window it's a very great combo um, but I don't use that I'm more of a my build is more just straight damage based um, some utility there but majority damage based so I used to try to fault on both my um, switch skills because you know free get out of jail free card you know plus the damage on top you know it's hard to beat that so let's go over equipment skills got crit eye 7 tech boost 5 ice attack 5 crit boost weakness exploit crit element master's touch for utility it uh, maintains your sharpness if you uh, land a crit. Um, fire attack, that's just part of the Silver Rathlo set. Uh, windproof, part of the set, but obviously good utility. Chain crit, one of the newer skills that was added during Sunbreak. Uh, great for dual blades because you have to attack consistently. Every time you attack, you get plus five attack and plus five element if I'm not mistaken so beautiful with dual blades this was meant for dual blades uh, constitution uh, part of the silver rathlo set great for dual blades because you'll be using your stamina up a lot uh, speed sharpening also great utility because um, you know you run out of a sharpness sharpness is attack based and um you lower your sharpness then you lower your attack the more you maintain your sharpness a high level of sharpness the more damage you do so speed sharpening get back in the game sharpen real quick go back to doing top damage and element exploit another skill that is um great for dual blades um since you'll be it combos well it's basically like weakness exploit weakness exploit gives you affinity plus like anytime you hit the monster on this weak point that's um a critical hit so element exploit obviously you're gonna be going for the monster's weak points and if you have a high element output which dual blades you know it's best to have that element x point works just like weakness exploit you get more damage more element damage 
if you um, attack the monster on its weak point. So they have good synergy. So I would like it to be level three, obviously, but they didn't add element exploit to the uh, augment pool when they made the title update. Hopefully that'll change uh, soon because I've rolled a lot. A lot of skills I rolled to um, just to get chain crit because I was missing chain crit. I got that to level three, but I had to give something up for it, but I was able to rebalance it. So, um, oh, this is just a example weapon. Um, for the rampage shot, I got element bane three. This um, helps expand, well, give you more damage to your element damage. So, um, get a high element based, uh, you know, base layout, and um, this helps you get more damage from that. So, and I'll demonstrate that, you know, in a second. But that's basically what my um, output is right now. See, just right now, I got 342 attack, uh, 79 ice, affinity standing is 40%. And, um, you know, the cat has a skill, rousing roar, that'll bump your attack. Well, it's not attack. Affinity. It'll bump your affinity up 30%. So, standing at 40, rousing roar, give me 30%, 70. And then on top of weakness exploit, that gives me plus 50 when I'm attacking a monster at its weak point. So, overall, I'm at uh, 120% affinity, which is above where I need to be so I could potentially give up 20% affinity to um, potentially add more damage to my build which I have which I have considered this is my base layout right now um, but you can also do find that Same layout, but you you can add grinder, grinder S. Um, again, since we'll be losing a lot of sharpness very quickly, grinder S is great because once you once it activates, you'll get more a boost to sharpness properties so um if i'm not mistaken it's basically like jumps it up a level in sharpness so let's say you got purple sharpness and it's a level above that so like let's just say like after purple is like red red sharpness so grinder s will put you sharpness properties in the red and then the next level down will be like purple and then etc etc so you'll get a drastic boost to damage after you activate grinder s so that's just something to consider if you want to have more variety you could also substitute grinder s and just go full attack um my dragon set is actually full attack boost seven same layout just change um two decos and you can have attack seven if you want and still have the same layout i did this this way because um the uh i use valstrex uh dual blades for this set and it's basically just all white white sharpness so grinder s master's touch isn't necessary so this is why i have my dragon layout set built like so i guess we'll start with 
why I use Element Bane on my set. So, taking Element Bane off and gonna we'll see the kind of damage we can put out without it. See, 224, 237, and 237. So, it's like 237 is best output for that. So, put element bane back on so element bane back on as you can see 234 already 250 250 say our max was 237 so you can see why Elm Bane makes a huge difference in, you know, the damage output if you're going for strong elemental build, which is my what my set is based on. Show the Grinder S. Why Grinder S can be very good. All right, so we have blue sharpness, which uh, you have to be two levels down in order to get and rest the prop so we were at purple sharpness and we had uh white sharpness behind that and now we're at purple so two levels down grinder s proc as you can see 261 261 279 so as you can see the damage output with grinder s is you know pretty significant so if we activate that you see at the end combo is 253 so definitely an option can to consider if um you want to go the grinder s route or if you prefer master such if you want to just strictly maintain your damage for much longer um the sharpness properties will last a ton longer so um those are two options that i use in my builds um i kind of prefer master's touch right now since i had to give up uh speed sharpening three to um get uh crit element so but that is my loadouts and my demonstration for the potential damage out for uh both sets that i rotate in and out of so let me know what you think in the cons the contents the comments let me know what you think uh give me your considerations for your own builds and you know maybe i'll try to you know put them into my own build and we try to make the ultimate build so currently this is my layout i'd like to thank you for watching do the proper thing like share subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next video